Bila saya keluar dekat MM Studio, one of the things that happened to me is my followers increase. Sekarang ni, video ni bukan pasal batak followers, tapi what happens after that. Under the video, there will be like a few comments about, eh, single ke tak? Oh, nak nak kahwin? Eh, nah, nah, nah. Ma I, ma'ai approve jadi a menantu? Nah, 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 nah. And it's not only on my videos. Virtually every single female speaker on ML Studio. What's the point of saying all these comments to people? Like, it's not productive. It doesn't really do anything. And besides, no one would want to marry you if you do that. Like, seriously. The comments are disturbing. People are discussing your private life online where people are like, oh, she's actually with this guy. Oh no, she's actually with that guy. Don't you think it's kind of jobless for you guys to do that? It's it's all right to discuss a celebrity's life online, I guess, because like they're a celebrity. Everyone wants to know if the magazines get their information, they can make money with that information. Not saying it's morally right, but it's less disturbing than taking a normal person and just presenting their entire life story online. What's not normal is going into my DMs and sending me pictures of your penis. First of all, I do not want to see your penis. No, why would you do that? Like, what's the po who in their right mind thinks that sending a girl a picture of his penis will make the girl fall in love with him? I don't understand your logic. What are you sending those pictures to me for? It's not like I'm gonna be like, accept request. Ah, oh, penis, I love you. No, I don't. No, it doesn't work that way. If you want to get a girl, get her by getting to know her, being her friend, getting to know her in real life, having an actual connection with her. And if she likes you back, that's good. One day I got curious, like why the hell are they sending me all these stuff? So I clicked on their profile and wow, to my surprise, there are these such things as dark side accounts. Dark side accounts apparently are people most commonly I don't like saying this, but most dark side accounts I've seen so far are Malay. They are Malay names and what they do is basically they post provocative pictures of themselves wearing skimpy clothes, being naked but censoring their parts. They basically post those things for attention and retweets, but they cover their face. And on their pinned tweet, usually there will be rates, prices. Wow, you're actually making a whole ass industry out of this. And it basically opens up an avenue for sexual predators and sexual harassment for not only people who are victimized, but also those who willingly get victimized. Sexual harassment is a very big thing. Okay, I may sound like I'm smiling, I'm having fun with this topic, I'm not. I have been sexually harassed in real life and it wasn't a pleasant feeling. It was even worse that when I reported, I was not believed. Getting sexually harassed online has a different level of psychological warfare. You get people who are willing to go to the depths of your Instagram posts, trying to find out where you live, who you're friends with, where you are, where you go to, and basically these people are just trying to actively hunt you down in order to victimize you. It just shows that how desperate and how perverted and twisted these people are. I generally I really believe that I'm not the only victim in this situation. On my end, when I go out with friends, occasionally these things do cross my mind. And this just goes to show that sexual harassment is it leaves a psychological scar on the victim. It makes you scared, it makes you feel disgusted with yourself. And that's why I'm making this video, so that your people stop doing that. There has to be people believing a girl when she says she has been sexually harassed. In fact, parents need to educate their children so that they know what sexual harassment is, how to get avoided, and how to not sexually harass people. We need to create a safer community, guys. Seriously, please.